Melberg with some space. Melberg will toss it in. Final minute five of period one, and the Crusaders in control on the scoreboard, although a turnover. Here is a chance in front. They score. They'll go down low, trying to get it into the slot. That's blocked. Glad to be with it. Five seconds. He's got to hurry. Jackets throw a shot toward Cage. That's blocked. Rebound jammed in. They score! And they got it right before the horn. It's going to be 2-2 going into the break. Gladaby dances past his man. Pass forward. Oh, it's just off Christensen's stick. Then into the slot. Tip. They score! Gladaby. 3-2. Guess we don't have to wait until the final minute of the period for the Yellow Jackets to get one here. Gladaby. Deep to Reinhardt. Reinhardt looking for a wraparound perhaps as he comes back to the point instead. Cap check. Christensen. Cap check. Bomb. Hits Reinhardt in the leg. Held in by the backhand of Christensen. who is tied up by Surowick, but Reinhardt able to get it away to Flatteby. Flatteby back to Krista along the wall. Back to the point. Cap check. Through a pile and it's in. They score! And Cap check points right to Flatteby who might have tipped it in front, but it goes through the five hole. Of Eric Gordon and the Yellow Jackets are back ahead, four to three. Flatterby first through the line. He's going to be the one with the goal for AIC. The Yellow Jackets come away with two huge points as they showed the will to survive and hang on for a four to three victory here in Springfield. Um, you know what? That's a really good Holy Cross team, and you know I know they're, um, you know, it's, it's a fine line between winning and losing, and you know for us we weathered a, a, a storm early by then. We knew they'd be coming hard, and um, you know we get down to nothing, but I really didn't mind the way we were playing. I thought we were doing some things to generate some chances, and then like when you look, you look at the score sheet, you know we get a goal, we get a goal late in the first, we get a goal late in the second, we get a goal early all around those crucial points of the game and a monster five minute kill. Our penalty kill was brilliant tonight. And then another big kill in the third after they get a goal. Um, so we, we did some things inside the hockey game that winning teams do. And um, I thought we had some guys really elevate. I thought some, some of our guys, we, they, they sensed that we were maybe um, not as dialed in as we wanted to be early in the game. And I thought we had some, some guys just really step up. Sean McBride, Hugo, Blake Christensen, uh, Ryan Poland, Capture. Like there, there was like eight or nine guys that just elevated. So um, it's hard to win. We won't, we won't ever apologize for, uh, for not being a, you know, a A to Z type effort. But um, you know, that's a very good hockey team over there that works extremely hard. And they make it really tough. And uh, so we knew that. No, it's huge. We've been, we've been showing it all year. Um, we, we played till the, the final buzzer, and that showed scoring those two late goals. The power play goal, that was the end of the period. I just got the puck in the middle of from uh, Tolby, and I just started smacking him because I know it's like one second left, and us lucky that I was pretty looking over. So. He's a top line player in this league. He's a guy that when we recruited him, his second year has always been historically a lot better than his first, so it's almost like he's got to get his feet under him. but. Toby's been an elite player here for us. Um, really, since late August when we came back in, he just looked different. And he's big, and he's powerful, and he can puck protect, and he's got as good a release and as good a shot as anybody in the league. So um, certainly not surprised that he's scoring. He could have three or four tonight. He was he was that good. And, um, you know, right now we've got what we what looks like a, a top line with him and uh, Blake on it. So um, I think all three of them. Have uh, he's, uh, me, uh, Toby, and Hugo have been playing well together. I think we feed off each other pretty well. Uh, he's a finisher, and he's doing his job, and that's what we need out of him. I think that's the thing we've been building on this uh, past two years, but this year we executed it. It feels like this year we're really, really tough to play against, and definitely that Air Force games gave us some boost, but I think we've been working hard, hard the whole year, and now we finally get the result with us. Just got to stick to the game plan. We got to come out strong. Uh, one thing we talk about is scoring the first goal in the game and not playing from behind. And uh, we didn't do that tonight, but Saturday we got to get that done. You know, our guys like playing here. You know, we, we've done okay in this building so far.
this season, and um, you know we'll have to go do it on the road Saturday against a, 